A very big hello to everyone watching this video. My name is Dr. Purudhaman and today I will be talking to you all about the symptoms that can be seen in a people who are suffer from Parkinson's disease. But before this, I would also want to tell you a little about what is Parkinson's disease and what are the causes behind it so that it will be easier for everyone to connect. Parkinson is basically an old age disease that can commonly start with the people around 60 to 65 years of age. If I have to explain it in a deeper sense, what happens is that the neuron cells in your brain, which you can see on your screen, release a chemical which is known as dopamine. What this disease does is hamper with the neuron cells, ultimately reducing the level of dopamine production. Now this chemical dopamine play a crucial role as it is a responsible for an individual's executive and motor skills where the problem starts to rise. If this neuron cells starts to die then the dopamine level gets hampered in our body which is when we see the start of Parkinson's disease. I hope everyone who is still with us must have understood the basic of how Parkinson's affects the individual's brain. Now let us move on the physical symptom that can be seen in individual suffering from a Parkinson's. As we now all know that the brain receives a certain degree of damage in Parkinson's patient. We get to see two types of symptoms majorly. One is motor, which is mainly related to the individual's movement. Like if my hand is shaking, it will be called motor symptom. Another symptom of motor symptom would be tremors that are felt in the entire body or in the patient not being able to keep their neck still. You know? Individual can also experience changes in their voice or just tremors in a specific region in their body, which indicates the level of damage that been caused to the brain. Coming to the second type of symptom that can be seen in an individual suffering from Parkinson's often refer to a non-motor symptom, they can range anywhere from the constipation to irregular sleep patterns which can cause discomfort. If the symptoms and their intensity keep on increasing, this means that the patient is moving towards the advanced stage which becomes extremely difficult to get in control. Therefore, what we have to do is to pay attention to the damage that is being caused to the brain because of which the motor and non-motor symptom are taking place. Any guesses on what can be done? Let me help you a little with that. There are mainly two ways in which Parkinson patient can get their symptom in control and live a better life. Firstly, as we all know that there is a damage being caused to the brain so that we have to do it to put a stop to it. Yes, it is that simple. As because of this damage, the level of dopamine reduce, which causes all the problems. Secondly, there is a loss of dopamine and therefore, by maintaining their level somehow, we will be able to see positive changes. But the question arises, how do we replenish the lost dopamine in our brain? Well, one way would be to take it from the outside and administer it into the person suffering from Parkinson. This would for sure increase its level, but still the damage to the brain doesn't stop. What if I tell you that there will come a time when external dopamine will not work because the damage caused to the brain will have reached a very advanced level. Therefore, the sooner we identify this disease, the sooner it will be possible to control the damage. With this, we have reached the end of today's video on Parkinson and its symptoms. I hope I was able to make each and every one of you understand the importance of diagnosis this disease as early as possible as it will make it very easy to control the damage that will be caused to the brain at later stage if not if this disease is not diagnosed in the early stage. But if any of you have any further doubt regarding anything that I said in my today's video feel free to leave your queries in the comment section below and I will be personally taking them up. See you all in the next video. Till then, take care and stay healthy.